Hi, my name is Dallas Marsh and I remind my class. Do you? So what is Remind? Remind is a safe, free way for teachers to communicate with their students and parents. It's often described as a one-way text messaging service. Students are able to use their mobile devices with an iOS application or an Android application, or if they choose, they can use a desktop with Remind.com. Messages are sent from the teacher to the students and their parents without having to share any personal phone numbers or contact information. Extra safety features include the inability for teachers to send individual messages to subscribers, subscribers cannot reply, and Remind keeps a log of all sent messages. To get started, you'll want to visit Remind.com. As you can see here, there's an area for teachers to sign up as well as for students or parents. As I already have an account, I'm going to click here and sign in. Make sure to choose a username that you do not mind receiving messages to and selecting a password that you will remember. Once you've logged in, on the left hand side you can see a list of your classes associated with Remind. On the bottom right hand corner you can see your list of subscribers, both parents and students. And just above that you can see your class code as well as the phone number associated to your account. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add a new class. It's going to be ETEC565M. You can select any class name you like and as well as the class code. I'm going to select ETEC565M dash dash. Now once I'm finished this I can go ahead and select add. Make sure that it is a class code that will be easy for yourself and your students to remember. You'll also want to make sure that you click that students will be over 13. You're now presented with instructions for students and parents to join your ETEC 565M class. You can see that there is a number associated to your account. This will be the same for all classes. And then there's also a class code at ETEC 565M. Students will text the phone number and enter in the message down below. Once the student has sent the message, shortly thereafter they'll receive a response text. This text will show that they have been added to the classroom successfully. They'll be prompted to include a name if they have not already subscribed to a previous Remind account. Once a user has been added to your account, you can see them down underneath the subscribers. Now let's go ahead and send our first message to our ETEC 565M class. We're going to go with, Welcome to ETEC 565M. I hope you were able to learn something new about Remind. You may also wish to include an attachment to your message. This can be in form of an image or a document. It can even be a voice recording if you like. Many teachers choose to schedule their messages ahead of time so that they don't forget to send out their reminders. You can do this here by selecting a date as well as a specific time of day for it to be sent. Now let's go ahead and send our message. Once the message has been sent, you will receive notification that your message has been sent successfully. You can also notice that on a student's mobile device, what they will be able to see is receive prompts. They'll receive a prompt reminder notification from the Remind application if they are using that. Otherwise, they'll also receive a notification through text messaging. If a student chooses to use the Remind application on their mobile device, once they open up the application, they're going to be able to see and manage all of their classroom accounts within the one page. On the bottom right hand corner of the messages will be a small star icon. When they select that, four icons will appear. As you can see, these icons are often used by teachers to have the students confirm their understanding of the messages being sent. Whether or not they question it, they understand it, they don't get it at all, or it's great. There are countless ways to use Remind in your class. Not only do I remind students and parents about assignments and about changes to the schedule, who doesn't love a last minute cancel class? I also send interesting links to students to continue their learning outside of class, words of encouragement, topics for discussions around the dinner table so parents know what's going on in the class. According to Remind.com, the top five ways to use Remind are to send reminders to special meeting times and places, for field trips, sporting events, and other activities that may occur outside of the regular school hours, to attach permission forms and other important documents that you want to ensure to get home and not buried at the bottom of the backpack and lost along the way, to attach photographs, to share what's going on inside the classrooms, to allow the parents to participate 
a little bit more in their students' classroom setting. To attach photos to invite parents into the classroom so they can see what's going on inside the children's classrooms and to be a part of the educational experience. To send deadline reminders for assignments to students so they can continue to make progress along the way and to keep themselves organized. And to send trivia questions for a warm-up before class to help remind the students what they learned the day before. According to creators at Remind, there are currently over 60 million Remind messages sent each month. Over 60% of the high school teachers that use Remind say homework completion rate has increased, and over 70% of elementary teachers say that there is an increased participation among parents. Will you become a teacher that extends learning beyond the classroom, that builds relationships with parents that are difficult to reach, to acknowledge student work? The definition of Remind, according to Google, is to bring something, especially a commitment or necessary course of action, to the attention of someone. Will you remind your students?